Hey guys, today I want to share a few ideas that have inspired me lately to break through my creative blocks and finish the songs that I started to write. This vlog is hugely inspired by Elizabeth Gilbert. She is my favorite writer. She's the author of Eat, Pray, Love, The Signature of All Things, and recently her new book, Big Magic. Eat, Pray, Love is one of my original favorite books. It's the book that inspired me to go to Italy, so it really is so important to me. And I got to hear Elizabeth Gilbert speak in New York during a trip, so I feel like Elizabeth Gilbert has always been around my life and she's just been part of my creative journey and now with her new book Big Magic I'm so excited to dive into that because it's all about creative living beyond fear so as I was waiting for the book to come out this week I found that Liz Gilbert had a podcast called Magic Lessons that she created to lead up to the book so I started listening to that podcast and oh my goodness it was so inspiring basically what I'm sharing today are the ideas from the magic lessons podcast that kind of inspired me to get my creative juices flowing number one do what you are called to do usually that's what you are afraid to do the most so this one is so true with all creatives. Usually you have a feeling inside what you truly want to do and usually it's the thing that scares you most. The reason why it scares you is because it's so important to you that you don't want to mess it up. You may be scared to even try. But if you have any calling to do something, it is like the universe telling you that you have to do it you're being led to it so it's up to you whether you want to pick it up and run with it or ignore it but being creative is all about being brave so you have to do it you just have to number two there is a such thing as having too much reverence for art you may be respecting your art too much you may be holding too high of a standard for it so there was a songwriter on the podcast who was talking about how she has so much trouble writing songs she feels very slow and she just can never create to whatever she wants to create at, to her standard and I can relate to this so much because I have so much respect for music I, it's probably too much respect for music I love it too much when you love something that much then you hold such a high standard high expectation that whatever you create will never meet that so everything is disappointing everything is discouraging the advice that Liz Gilbert gave this songwriter was to just chill out to stop caring so much about it stop setting this art to such a high standard just create something create anything it could be stupid it could be simple it could just be whatever. Liz Gilbert talked about one of her friends who was an artist and was creating his whole life. He said that when he was younger, he took his art so much more seriously and as he got older and more experienced, he came to this aha moment where he just realized all I'm doing is creating jewelry for people's minds. You know, when you're creating great music or great writing, you're not exactly saving the world. I mean, you are just creating like decoration and something beautiful jewelry for people's minds so yes art is beautiful and amazing and important but no it's not so high such a high divine thing that you have to hold such a high standard to it so I think the point of it is just to take your art less seriously and that's gonna help you be able to create more and improve yourself as you keep creating number three you don't have to publish it but you must create it so when you're called to create something, usually what you create comes from personal experience and sometimes it's scary because you're writing about people you know, or you're writing about things you've been through and you may be worried about what other people think about that art or you're, you may be worried about hurting people in your life. You know, if you're writing about anyone close to you, you don't want to hurt anybody. But at the same time, you have a calling to express it and to write it down or create something out of that. So this lesson is just telling you that if you feel like creating something, expressing something, writing something, whatever, you have to create it. Just create it. Don't think about what other people are going to think. Don't even think about publishing it because you can create it first and then later you can edit it or decide whether or not you want to publish it. Sometimes you don't even want to publish it at all, but it's worth it to just create it and get it out of your system because it was meant for you to express. 
Number four, you have to be able to sit through the boring, tedious work in the beginning in order to get to the flow of the creative process. So in creativity, there are no shortcuts. There's no way to really be productive in the creative process because a lot of the beginning stages are the tinkering, the editing, the trial and error, a lot of failures, you know, nothing may work in the beginning and it could be very frustrating. But you have to learn how to sit through those boring, tedious stages in order to get to the flow where your creative juices are kind of like flowing out and exploding and you're doing your thing because you're not always going to be inspired but you have to put yourself to work in the beginning and sit through the hard stages and then you're eventually you're gonna be able to create something wonderful. So a huge part of it is just to be super patient and persevere in your work. All right, I hope these tips helped you guys out. Please feel free to listen to the Magic Lessons podcast and also do check out the Big Magic book by Elizabeth Gilbert. Also, I plan to do an Ask Me Anything video, so if you have any questions for me, tweet me at Lavendaire and I will answer them in a video later on. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative. I'll see you guys next time.